What's up guys, it is Jonathan with One Big Impact. I assume my camera is working. <laughs> By the way, if you're new here, check us out on Facebook. Our group is called Healthy Living for Healthy Life. I recently just lost 30 pounds in 30 days and I'm looking to continue that. So, first of all, I wanted to get a little bit more creative with what I do because I'm always like anti-creative and maybe that's sometimes why I fall off. So. I'm trying a different little bit of a route this next three days. So I found these super, super cool cauliflower pizza crusts and they are super low. It's called cauliflower foods, okay? So um, it's actually super low carb. It's like two net or one net carb per serving. So for a whole thing, it's going to be, what is it? three net carbs for a whole pie. So you're gonna watch me basically make this. I already figured out all the macros. Um, so here's the macros and I'm gonna give them to you now. Just kidding, I'm gonna make you wait, watch the whole video. So first of all, um, I went a little bit light on some of this stuff and some not. Okay, so first of all, let's pull this open. You're actually viewing this. Let's make sure we're still recording. Okay. No, seriously, no. Um, the idea here is what is following me? It's a little piece out here. I don't know what the heck it is. So, Chun! So! So! I have not opened this. Okay. That actually looks really good. That looks like you could probably, I bet you could probably just heat this, oh my gosh, next video. What about just putting some cheese on this? It doesn't even look like you need cheese. Look at that. Dang. Cheese. That looks freaking good. Doesn't it? That looks bomb. I have been waiting for something like this for quite some time because I knew they were perfecting it little by little and I need a pen or something to open this. I have scissors here. This is a very organized video, you know that, right? So, first of all, why did that not work? Do I have to open this up? Does it matter? Which side it is? Dude, that smells so freaking good. That smells absolutely amazing. I'm willing to bet I'm not gonna do it because I want the pizza. Oh, shit, and I broke it, damn it. I'm willing to bet this would be absolutely bomb if you tried it without anything on it because it smells so damn good and it's falling apart on the crap. Oh my gosh. I clearly did not do this the right way. I bet you there's instructions on how to do this and I've clearly destroyed this thing. I just realized I have to cook this. How the hell am I gonna cook it if I've already put it on there? I gotta go get a pan. Crap. I'll be back. Okay, let's try to unmurder what I just did. Okay. I feel like I should have done that with more thought. Didn't anticipate it being so fragile. I'm sure there's instructions telling you how not to do that. Very soon. But you know how guys are. They do what they can and then if all else fails, then they read the instructions. So, pretty fragile, I would say, first of all. Holy crap, yes, very fragile. Oh my gosh, the whole thing's falling apart now. Holy crap. Really? I would assume that the idea here is probably 
when you put the cheese on, everything kind of blends together. I did not think that was going to fall apart like that. But it looks like it goes back together pretty well. Maybe they haven't perfected that yet. I don't know. But we're going to pretend that didn't happen. Okay? That's what we're going to do. This is trial and error, guys. This is not like some infomercial like, oh, look at my fantastic paddle for the feature crush. I'm going to do best out real quick. No. It's not like that. Okay? Quarter cup of pizza sauce. I use the Great Value brand. This guy, at Wally World. All right? So I'm going to put it on there. I feel like everything's going to come. I, I used a quarter cup. I actually put a half a cup originally, but my net carbs went too high. So I decided not to do that. Okay? That's what I decided not to do. So I'm going to use the bottom of my measuring spoon and just kind of wheel it out. Wheel it out. And I just stabbed the pizza crust. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just mangling this damn pizza crust. I'll tell you what, girl. Actually, a quarter cup was plenty. Maybe even a little too much. You could probably use a little less. You could probably use like. I'm gonna look back because it's my pizza, so I should go. I know. It's awkward. We're gonna use that. Now, as you can see, you see the pizza crust. Don't let it fall on the ground, Jonathan, because you would have to eat it off the ground, and I would on doing on camera. On the cheese, we got a half a cup. I went a little bit heavy. I did two servings of that. No, let's not say heavy. Okay, let's not say heavy. And I love anybody that is watching my video and talking trash about this and that saturated fat. Shut the hell up. All right? I'm so tired of everybody running their damn mouth. I am getting to the point to where I ain't putting up with nobody's mouth running no more, okay? You want to run your mouth, run that shit right out the door. Alright? Ain't no reason for it. I ain't coming into your Facebook or YouTube or whatever hating on you. And if I am, by all means, please feel free to do so to me. Because that's what I get. Get what you get. Alright. So we got a half a cup of cheese. Actually, I'm going to do this in my hand. Uh, I'm a little bit weird about making sure that cheese is evenly distributed. I don't like it all nasty. I used mozzarella, by the way. Mozzarella craft, expertly paired with pizza, right there, is what it's called. Um, I did not know before that mozzarella is the desired pizza stuff. I assumed it was, but I saw it on the package, so I decided that was the one that was going to do. And I'm going to get my cheese all the way out to the edge because I want it to be like that. It's actually looking pretty damn good. This is supposed to be my dinner and it's like noon and I've already eaten like three of my meals. I feel like that's not a good thing. But, I need a couple of these pieces of tea. So the one thing when you weigh out your stuff, you can eat what's on there because it's already weighed out. But if it's not weighed out, don't do that. Now, here's something I used. I'm going to show you up close. Here's something I used. Turkey pepperoni, great value. The reason I did is because with these cheese and uh, things, anytime you're doing high fat, you could end up with like an unreal amount of calories. So I skipped on the calories on this one and it's like half the calories of normal. Instead of like 140 calories per serving, it was only 70 calories. So that's actually a huge difference. Why am I having a problem getting in this? What the hell's going on here? What's up with these packages today, man? What's going on here? So 16 is the exact serving size. I'm not doing any more or any less. I'm gonna do 16. I'm not gonna put any in my mouth unless it's part of that 16. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. 
and I kept it simple with the ingredients. I'm not doing any more, okay? Some of you guys might want to add vegetables or whatever, but the thing is, it's made out of cauliflower, so you already have your vegetables, so you don't really need to do that. Okay, so we got starting with these cheeses. One. And we ended up with 16, and my phone cut off because somebody freaking called me. So that's what it looks like. Absolutely beautiful. 16 covered the whole thing. Now we're gonna go cook it, and I'm gonna give you the macros just a minute so you probably have a box and this information is going to be irrelevant if you do but the uh cook time is preheat 400 degrees 10 to 12 minutes pretty fast so let's go cook it come on some wonky stuff going on with my camera here but the pizza is done and done so first of all little tip Okay, just a tip, wait what? <laughs> a tip really quick is if you want to cut your pizza, wait till it completely cools off. And the reason I say that is because it'll be a lot easier to be able to um, slice through. It'll kind of get all crunchy and everything. Versus, I really want to get under it though. Can I get under it? Can I get under it without ruining it? I'm gonna let it cool off. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the macros. So first of all, really quick, write this down because I'm gonna be honest, I really don't wanna put it in the description. I might, I might. Chances are I won't. Um, so the turkey pepperoni, we have 16 of them, okay? These are the amounts first. 16 slices of turkey pepperoni, half a cup of cheese, one whole crust, quarter cup of sauce. That's literally it. Four ingredients. Simple. If you want to go further than that, figure out the macros. Calories. 545. For a pizza, that's good. I made one last weekend, same size. I think it was like seven, eight hundred calories because it was more cheese. Fat, 37 grams. Protein, 46 grams. That's actually pretty freaking high and good for like a complete meal supplement because this could be good for post-workout, pre-workout, anything like that because it's got a freaking massive amount of protein in it. Not massive, but good amount of protein in it. That's more than like a protein shake. And then net carbs, drum roll, nine. Nine net carbs for a whole freaking pizza with toppings, all right? That's freaking good. Now you're probably wondering, well, the net carbs are good, how's it gonna taste? Let's be completely honest, I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna taste. It smells good, I'll tell you that. But I feel like I probably demolished the scenario here as far as the um, crust was concerned when I ran it over in the beginning. Screwed that up, didn't I? That's okay. Watch this. Let's see if I can get this totally to slide. I really want it to slide because I don't want to tear it apart. I don't want like half a piece of pizza. So honestly, and some people I know somebody's gonna be like, that's high calories. Shut up. No, it isn't. I, you always get somebody that's got to say something dumb. You got to say something rude or disrespectful or pessimistic. Keep them damn comments to yourself, okay? Compared to the damn McDonald's that you were eating yesterday or last week or six months ago or a year, you damn Big Macs like three times that amount of calories. Come on cooling it off because have you ever noticed when you cool off a pizza the cheese tends to stay on the pizza versus falling off so yes I'm gonna eat this entire pizza on camera right now 
I don't know about the entire thing. Making sure I'm still recording. Damn thing. It's messed up. Let's see. Oh! You wait a second. I ain't playing with you. Wait a minute. Damn it. We're on track. That's right. Drink your damn water. I will tell you, you drink a little bit of this before and after your meals. It's going to help you curb your appetite. Probably going to have to go to sleep early because I've eaten all my food early. So, the consistency, this is a tiny little piece right here. But I'll show you what it looks like. This is the pita. Looks like pizza. Looks good. Right? I think I should have let it cool a little bit longer, not too, too long, but... The one I got was Italian. They have jalapeno. If I remember, I'll put all the pictures at the end. Um, like pepper, bell pepper or something like that. Original. And I don't know, something else. You're probably wondering what it tastes like. This tastes like I straight up went to like a pizzeria, like a old Italian pizzeria. I've been to Italy, so shut your mouth, okay? I will say American pizza. is a lot better than Italian pizza. <laughs> I'm sure people are gonna kill me for that. Probably just because the palate is different. We're very, um, more bad is good. This is bomb. Although I will say I didn't have expensive pizza. I had like cheap little on the side of the road pizzas. Oddly enough, the crust like pops of flavor. This is epic. This is like... This is a freaking game changer, you guys. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I'm not saying that for like, street cred. I don't even know what that means. Yes, I do. Internet cloud. It's different. Never mind. I think it's the same version. Fit this into your damn meal plan. I kid you not, I could eat this every single day. It's so funny because everybody's like, oh, low carbs, gonna kill you, this, that, blah, 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 blah. They haven't had this. Very light, too, it's not hugely heavy. I could have cooked it a little bit longer, get a little bit more crispy taste. Man. This is amazing. Go buy it now. Wow. I'll put the ingredients list below. You can see the spices in the crust. Man. You could probably pretty easily make this a vegan one too. 
believe it said gluten-free. Say vegan? I don't know. I don't want to get up. You have no idea. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm gonna be I'm gonna come straight with you right now. I've been thinking about eating bad. something you know I had that cheat day the other day and I did not anticipate it I didn't enjoy it usually I have like a whole thing planned out places I'm gonna go and stuff I didn't enjoy it at all but then afterwards I started thinking about places to go and your mind starts wandering you start thinking about bad food and then you really start wanting it this this tastes bad Meaning, by the way, I can't stand listening to people eat, so I sincerely apologize. It makes me crazy. I can't, can't really smack them and stuff, so I apologize for that. This tastes like you're eating bad, but you're not. This hits the spot. This hits the spot like I've never had the spot hit before, you guys. I want to get like emotional over this. Like, this is groundbreaking. Like, this is nuts. The little pizza that they have from Atkins, it's like this big around. Little punk ass pizza. And it's 11 net carbs. This is like 12 inches circumference, and it's literally nine net carbs. And it tastes way better. Last piece right here. Want a bite? Insane. Oh, and the pizza, the cheese helped hold it together. It's not falling apart at all. Man, you pair that up with like low carb ice cream Ooh, girl dangerous give me that give me that oh, oh there you go. Let's go. even playing with you guys. Go get that. Go get it. Go get it. Right now, get in your car, go to the store, get those ingredients, and make that ish happen. Wow. 545 calories, 9 net carbs, 50 grams almost of protein. You go in the gym, smash a workout and have one of these ready for when you get done and you are golden. You guys, if you're new here, please check us out on Facebook. Our group is called Healthy Living for Healthy Life. Be stronger than your excuses. If you want t-shirts, it's not this design, it's the other design. This is just one that I got free. Shout out to 180 Project, by the way. Thank you so much for the free t-shirts. You guys rock. Um, by the way, uh, we have new t-shirts. We have bracelets. Bracelets are seven bucks. T-shirts are 25 if you pre-order. 35 if you don't. Wait till you guys see the t-shirt that I just ordered. You guys are going to trip out. Wow. Man. 
That's the best recipe I made. That's the best low carb meal I've ever had. That was good. Pair it with a glass of water, you're good. You guys, the link's below. We'll go to the Healthy Living site on Facebook. It's our group. If you're selling anything, stay out. We ain't got time for that. If you got some sly comments, keep them to yourself, okay? Because there ain't no reason for all that. You know, I'm a sensitive person. You talk mess, I'm gonna talk mess back. It's gonna get all of us all messed up. Life's too short for that. Live in the moment, you guys. Have a beautiful day. Man, I'm looking forward to tomorrow's. Yeah, I have another one tomorrow. Have a good night, guys. Or day, whatever, whenever I get this posted. Thanks, guys, for watching. Yeah, little pepperoni. Ah!